So we have a lot of healthcare clients that are subject to audits. Have you handled those types of cases? I have. I have probably handled, I can't put an exact number on it, but hundreds of healthcare audits, primarily CMS audits in the appellate process that ensues. And CMS is, is an arm of Medicare, right? It is Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. And do those audits sometimes lead to um, False Claims Act charges against companies? They can, not always. CMS audits, as a primary matter, are administrative, meaning that it just operates through CMS, the entity. But if there is particularly egregious conduct, then CMS can refer its audits findings out to law enforcement for potential either criminal or civil investigations. And what do you do to help clients um, prepare for and go through the audit process? Well, generally an audit starts with a receipt of what's called an ADR. It's a documentation request from Medicare. And so the client then has to respond to that document request. And that's where our work really starts, is once they get that audit request, okay, we know they're under an audit, but that letter doesn't tell them why. Mm -hmm. And so then we want to try to figure out why to say, okay, is this something, you know, we can remediate now, or is this something we really need to be proactive about because of the potential for referral out to law enforcement. And so if someone uh, in a healthcare institution gets notice of an audit or this ADR that you talked about, can they contact you for a consultation? Absolutely. I would love if they would contact me for a consultation to discuss the options they have.